good evening all aspirants so welcome everyone uh, i am excited to introduce the star of the show today that is dr anvita rallapalli uh, she is ml rank 1 in pediatric neurology super specialty jan 2025 session so welcome dr anvita to this interview thank you sir thank you for the introduction okay so first of all let me congratulate you on this prestigious and incredible achievement so aims pediatric neurology uh is one of the most sought after seats in pediatric cases so we will start with a brief introduction of yours like where you did your ug pg a bit about your family and all so over to you dr anvita okay sir so i did my mbbs from jitmar pondicherry and then i did my md pediatrics from pgi chandigarh and uh, uh so both of my parents are doctors and my father is a pediatrician and he's always been an inspiration to me oh nice so uh the aspirants the young aspirants who are preparing for the neat ss next they will be interested in knowing how what was your way of preparation and all so uh, i just wanted to ask how was your preparation like you were uh, taking a break or after md you were working somewhere as a senior resident and preparing uh side by side how was it sir so i joined my md in july 2021 because actually we were covid batch so our md actually started from august and i finished it in august then i took a break i didn't join anywhere and i prepared for two months properly sir oh nice so next is the mandatory question that's asked in every topper interview why pediatric neurology why the specialty how did you get attracted to the specialty uh like uh neurology i found it challenging and fascinating from my ug days so and also then in my uh, post graduation time also i had two postings in neurology pediatric neurology ward and uh, there we had a lot of exposure and the teaching was very good so then it further increased my interest and I thought yes, pediatric neurology is a good choice for me. Yeah, obviously, PGI Chandigarh is one of the best pediatric centers in the country, and definitely pediatric neurology is also uh, one of the best in the country. So, uh, a bit about the exams this time. How was the exam pattern this time? Was there any change in the pattern from the previous sessions, or was it the same? Uh, sir, this is my first attempt. So, oh. but in my previous, I saw. Like I asked about previous question paper, I found similar pattern of questions only. Like I like I just I I asked my seniors and they have told this is similar pattern. So so uh, there were many images like MRI pics, EEGs, uh, clinical photographs and all. Very few, sir. I think around five. There were only few images. Or there were case scenarios and there were. few mri pictures not many sir oh uh, yeah so was it like the expected ones or is it like completely out of the head kind of mri pics and eeg no sir they were expected ones and common important or commonly asked only okay so how did the videos uh, marrow videos help you in preparing the uh, preparing for the exam uh yes sir so i watched all your videos uh, pediatric neurology videos and it actually helped me to understand nelson better and we obviously we should read nelson that is the base for neurology exam and your videos helped me to understand and retain whatever is given in nelson better and your notes was very good sir that i revised your that was the notes i have made your notes was the notes which i made that i revised and uh, you have also highlighted which are the important topics which are the favorite questions of aims so that has also helped me to focus on some topics and i have done grand grand test i think there were three grand test i did all three of them pediatric neurology mock test and that also helped me to practice mc like for good and also time management okay so uh, if i'm not wrong time management uh, the, in the exam time management rather than time management it's like uh, the uh, answering the one of the correct one that will be more important right because the, the time wouldn't be a, an issue in this exam but from my time the pattern has, what i can understand is pattern has changed completely so is it like you complete one round and then you again go back and change what all you had already done 
हाँ एक्चुअली टाइम वॉज नॉट एन इश्यू मच बट आई वॉज काइंड ऑफ गोइंग स्लो सो आई डेंट हैव इनफ टाइम टू ओवर थिंक एंड चेंज माई क्वेश्चन Yes, time was just sufficient for me. That is a blessing in disguise, then. Yes. So, uh, so you said you you mentioned you were uh, going through Nelson. So, are there any any other textbooks, particularly like pediatric neurology textbooks, like Finichel or Dr. Vina Kalramam's textbook or IAP textbook? Any, any other textbook you are resorting to, or even Swyman? Ah, uh, sir. Uh, Nelson was the main. and swyman i have seen that i have just gone through the tables of important sections of neurology like epilepsy and neuromuscular diseases those i didn't read swyman thoroughly only i have see gone through the tables figures or flow charts from swyman important topics but my main thing was nelson line to line including images and marrow notes and then swyman So, for the general questions, also you sort also to to Nelson, or how did you prepare for the general questions? Sir, actually, general questions because I just recently passed out. I didn't have much time actually for me to again go through everything from general part. So, I uh, usually I ask my seniors what are the repeated topics of general topics, so that I have gone through some topics. Sir, I have didn't put much focus on general part. But I mainly focused on neuro parts because I just passed out, so I thought I will do something in general. Okay. So and what about statistics? Because statistics is one area where uh, pass outs from institutes like PGI aims they are better than compared to the other uh, institutes because statistics is an important part of the curriculum there. So how did you prepare for the statistics part, or how how much was the representation of statistics in the question paper? Yes. So I think we I got asked only. two questions from stats which were simple only and i mainly read uh, revised statistics from maro videos there was a separate section of biostats in maro neat ss pediatrics so that i have gone through it and i've done mcqs so i that was more than enough sir. that covered everything okay and uh, how was the interview yes sir so interview was uh, was just uh, there were two parts in interview part 1 was by done by the pediatric neurology team and part 2 was general questions there will be some four questions and it will be rapid fire of that and a uh, neurology but they will ask case scenarios and uh, each faculty will ask you one one question each those were also like predictable questions that you will know if you talk to your seniors so that was okay that was okay only it didn't go very well but yeah that was fine i felt the deciding factor will be your m uh, theory mcq test yeah definitely definitely so how is it the mock test and the gts help you uh yes sir so that will so as the mock test says so we it will give you definitely practice and uh so that it will tell you to adjust time and it will also help you realize what you don't what you know what are your weak points as well so some things which you thought you already know that you will commit mistake so that help me to revise better and you no know, despite how many times you read nelson we should always practice mcq and the maro mock test help me practice that okay now the problem with uh, reading only through textbook is that many of the major pivotal studies so that studies and the results will come into the textbook it will take at least 4 or 5 years so that part how do we manage like the pivotal studies like pmd studies sma studies because that's some uh, i think that um, at least two three questions would have been come from pmd sma the new therapies like exon therapies and all for which the studies may not be that much uh, included in nelson and other textbooks okay sir uh, regarding uh, sma dmd part that one sir your videos have covered it and two i have also read some those topics from up to date also so that helped in covering the pivotal studies and recent updates in neurology pediatric neurology yeah. good so uh, overall in the pediatric the questions how much uh, what were the thrust areas like more it was more from the genetics or metabolics uh, epilepsy which which area you felt that they uh, given they have given more importance to uh sir they have given importance to epilepsy 
neuromuscular disease is part and also in demyelinating mainly acquired demyelinating and some on leukodystrophy yes sir mainly and sma dmd that that sma as well sma then other non phq sma everything that also there was one question on motor neuronopathies so it was actually frequently touched areas but a little bit different or a little bit deeper into that topic was asked was being asked so i think uh, by the before that i'll ask a personal question uh, what do you think uh, what are the suggestion from your side to improve videos and the content from our side what are your suggestions uh sir your videos sir are, are very good sir and actually mcq question bank that was not uh, there in maro when i did i think the modules were added after the exam so maybe it's but like more question bank should be added and more grand tests and mini tests should be added sir and i know i think you uh, still new videos are being added i i've seen that recently movement disorders was added uh, i feel mainly mcqs and more grand tests should be there because uh, we know that adult knee tests has a lot of a uh, uh, lot of you know things to practice like but now pediatrics super specialty is just coming up so we need more mcqs to practice and tests to give that's what i feel so thank you definitely we have taken note of that so that concludes it uh, welcome to the world of pediatric neurology so mm -hmm. we are definitely going to meet again and i'm actually proud and i'm very excited and happy because one of my student has cracked uh, one of the most prestigious seat and you will be joining my alma mater only because I love trains in 2020 only. So all the very best for your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.